Welcome to the video. It is Friday night and we got all the lights on. We got this light on. We got the chandelier on. We got the overhead on. We're ready. Ready for some Friday night. Turn all the lights on so we can see. Uh, got a new jewelry bag, 8.04 pounds. I paid $13 for it. Then to get it here is $17.46, $4 handling. There's your grand total. So um, let's see what we got. This is, um, I cut the top off already and I'm just gonna dump it over and let it kind of spill out. This will probably take us several uh, videos to do, which is great. And I've got another bag here and Aunt Barry bought one more and paid for it this morning. So it's on its way. And I need to be listing some more. I'm starting to put the eBay and Etsy listings in the um, in the description. It is on the banner page, but uh, this is a pretty, pretty bright, pretty necklace. It's like that cat eye blue pretty blue well what's everybody up to are y'all ready for Christmas isn't it like on Tuesday or something my goodness I'm uh, sending my two nie three nieces and nephew a little money it's just easier that way then they can get what they want kids are hard to shop for teenagers all the way up to 20. This is pretty. Talk about boho, huh? I'm getting my boho bag together. That's nice. Missing a little paint there, but that would just be rolled over onto the back. We got our hot tea. We got our cold bubble water. I was saying I went to the doctor yesterday and I got a shot for whatever this crud is. It's not the flu, because I got a flu shot, but it's 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 a nasty virus, upper respiratory, and with my asthma, it always turns into bronchitis, or tries to, so she gave me a shot, and it started <laughs> everything loosening up, but, you know, antibiotics, steroids, and the steroid shot, breathing treatments. So today, I kind of felt worse. That looks like a little pearl worked all day got through it and came home and went to bed and i missed the dumpster i just couldn't do it couldn't get there i figured the bike guy would have been there anyway he's fearless he doesn't care what manager's there these are glass i believe it's kind of a cute little necklace so i was saying that Somebody bought some lockets on Etsy, and then I was looking at my board that I have back here. It's a bulletin board I got out of the dumpster, and I've got, I'll show it to y'all. I've got, like, necklaces hanging on it. i got two or three of them, and it's getting thin. My friend's sister came up and picked through that, but there was a little turtle on there, and it's something said she's going to, this person might like that little turtle, and it was... A designer brand oh something fell off here but we could probably repair that so that went into the box because I didn't have another locket um, these are some stones I believe no that's got a seam it's got a seam in the middle meaning it's poured plastic so you can see how they made that bead I'm no expert, I'm just noticing that, like, I know about fishing lures, and so you pay attention to things like that. Now, yeah, plastic. It's kind of cute, though. Maybe there's not supposed to be something in there, but... It looks like there was some glue. This says, what does that say? Is that the people who made it? Harmony. 
That's not a word we come upon very often, is it? Harmony? I think this part's broken too, so I think that's going to go in my bag for possibly giveaway. My friend said, you better let me go through it first. So this is like broken stuff. One thing about all those medicines is they make you thirsty. This looks like it should be silver. Is there a mark? Is there, is there? This is a weird material. Is it one of those nuts or seeds? I don't know, but is there a mark? Nine, two, five. But you see how it's a natural? It's something, isn't it? That's pretty cute. Ooh, we'd like to get another one of those. I just don't know what it is. I think it's one of those nuts. It's... I have no idea. It could be maybe coral too, but it's... I don't know. Don't know. I'd like to know. Deep Digger Dan, I used to watch him all the time. I'd like to know, but I don't know. So here's something, some cute, uh, you could harvest those beads off there. So I'll put that in the bead, the bead group. I'm a slow lister, so I have a real job. This is broken, so if you see something and wanted me to list it, just let me know. And I will, and there's no obligation. Sometimes I end up getting pricey on there. And I put I put that um, Coco Chanel on eBay. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's kind of pricey. So we'll see. I should know this mark by now. It's upside down. You and I. Here's some you and I. Let's see what you and I looks like. It's kind of gotten loose there, huh? Somebody tried to glue it back up. That's some glue. Oh, man. They must have spun it around and... Should that go in the beads? Because it's... I'm going to put it in the beads. Don't you bead people think so? A bead person could fix that. I don't really want to put it in the junk bag. So it's almost too nice for that junk bag. Put it in the bead lot. Well, we got a BR... BR. You know, all these bags look the same when you're bidding on them from this place. Oh, look, we have, this is actually has gold in it. <laughs> yeah, scrappers, scrappers, no, there's a little bit of gold down in there. And I've sold like not for a lot of money, but $7 profit. All, you know, uh, $13, $14 if it fits, it ships. Just tons of these cut off. And every now and then somebody wants them and they soak them. I don't know what they do with them. This is cold and it could be, it could be amethyst. It sure could. It's broken. No problem there. But we don't have information on the clasp now. That's cold though. And 
I think it's amethyst and crystal. Some of it's a little more brown. I don't think it's glass. So we'll give that to Shelly. Okay, let's just, oh, some kind of cute little something down here. I thought I saw a seahorse. Am I seeing things? Nope, I'm not seeing things. Oh, and we have a good little tangle here of a thin, wait a minute. Can y'all see? There's, looks like there's a mark on that. Might be getting good. Oh, look at that. And look at that. <laughs> oh, this poor lady ain't gonna get this locket either. Oh, Avon Sterling, what is it? Whoa, that is a first. I always think Avon be bluffing. I gotta look at that under the loop. Avon Sterling, man. Wow, that is some treasure. Pretty too. Is it marked right there? I need to look again. Yep. Look at that, y'all. Nine two five. Wowza wows ain't nothing wrong with it. In fact it looked like it was hardly worn. Avon makes sterling. I knew they did. I just never find any. That's marked. 925. Man, oh man. Well, wouldn't you know it? I find a locket. Because I feel I felt like, oh, there could be a locket in here. This one has a lot more smalls than the other one, but. That one's not going anywhere. Now, what is this other tangle we've got here? Do we have a mark on this thing? What does this thing say? Is it 925 and another letter? Because Man, that's hard to see. No, it's not. S S B Y. It looks like it says S S B Y. Hmm. Okay, but we got a very thin chain. Ooh, when it looks like that. So that's the hallmark. Ooh, woza. We're gonna have to fire up the diamond tester and everything around here. That's an M. Fire it up, we're ready. We're ready around here on a Friday night. Then we don't mess around. So that's tangled with this earring. I may have to do this. This is gonna be one of those, you know, takes a while deals we like that doubles nine two five might be getting it more tangled up trying to get it off in a hurry let's just take our time Fun, having fun. How about y'all? It's a great, 
Way to spend a Friday night. There's that little seahorse, so cute. This is, looks like it's gonna be a neat earring. He's like, I, I wanna keep that silver. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He's keeping that silver on his tail, I kid you not. He really is. He didn't want to let go of that. I'm going to have to deal with this later, but let's see if we can get, no, it's not moving when it's on the glass or cubic zirconia. Okay, that's all right. Um, where's the class so we can investigate? If it's Italy or whatever. I don't think it's Italy. It might say that. It's a hallmark, I just don't know. 925, not Italy. Okay, we're happy with that. We'll get that off of there and show it at the beginning of the next video. Avon Sterling and a nice Sterling M. Nice. It's a pretty yellow. Has one little blue in there. That's funny. Pretty in pink. Oh, that's an earring. Wow. Big old earring. How about some gold, Billy Bob, huh? We'd like some. This isn't going to be it, though. That's a pretty little necklace. Probably Avon on that. It's pretty. Let's see what it's going to say. Got to get that little thing out later with the needle. Yep. It's pretty. It's not missing anything. So I'll pull that out with a needle. That one little knot. This is fun, huh? Yep. So back to having time to do projects again, which is listing and getting this little room in order. It's gotten to be a mess. All this stuff coming in and needs to get in order. Love. Love and harmony. Like a silver tone. That'll go in the silver bag. Where's my gold bag?
Okay, hold on. I gotta find my gold tone bag. Silver tone. There it is. Okay. So now, what do we have down here? This uh, copper tone. Pretty earring. What is this? It's got a mark. I don't think it's going to be real. Probably going to be Avon. I can't see it. Yep. Let me make sure. Avon. <coughs> Excuse me. And this plastic wire wrapped. I don't know. There, this is like something's funky going on here. It doesn't really work. But that should probably go in that repair bag. My friend will probably pull that out and say, I can do something with this. We got a cluster here. Let's just do this first. These things are just, I don't, do these things ever not look like they're a big mess? Is that another you and I? Yeah. So that's another you and I, but I don't know. That's going to go in the B thing, too, because, and then this goes with it, so I'll put that in there. Maybe we'll find the other one and put it in there. Yay, we got like a AK, who would that be? Amcline? We'll put that in the home, I mean the Mark's jewelry, Hallmark jewelry. This is pretty, it's a brooch. This is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Rhinestone looks good. Not marked. Christmas ornament. That's a pretty one. Here's a boho. And it is a zone. Or something. Zone. Zone. That might go in the mark. Yeah, it's going to go in there. What do we have here? It's a delicate. No 
mark. Nowhere. Pretty. Yep. Get medicine at Walmart, boy. The shoppers got the bikes. They're pulled up to the door. I'm like, man, I'm just gonna put a little money in a envelope. That's where I'm at. Now my mom, I'm gonna have to find something. Is this, has this been married on there? That doesn't look like it goes together. Uh, I don't know what all is going on here. I guess that's how it goes. Green and pink. Doesn't look broken. Gonna go in the silver tone bag. I thought there was some small gold colored pieces popping out, but now I don't see them. Rudolph, somebody. And this is by, who is this by? I can't read that. Born to Bolo. Born to Bolo, so that's cute. Need to get that tangle out of there. No, it's coming apart easy. And I guess that's gonna go in my um, designer bag. Born to Bolo, Bluebird of Happiness. Need to look that up. I don't think I've ever heard of them. Got a magnet. Here's this other, it's either the earring or it's the, oh, I think it's the earring. Okay. We got a pair there. This looks broken, but maybe not. I don't know. Can't tell. That'd be nice for the Southwest lot. I don't think it's broken. Southwest lot. Now this has two clasps on it or they fixed it or something weird they ended up putting a magnet clasp on there it's unusual I think it's just glass some kind of glass green glass Here's a pretty, very green. They made it real short. You could really put this on anywhere you want on this necklace. Let's 
say that's the back. That's pretty. There's the back. It's like a lime, key lime green. Very pretty. That hot tea sure is nice. Going down. Okay, this is pretty. Looks like it might have a here we got here we got some gold tone stuff. I guess it kind of flew backwards when I was trying to does this all go together? No, we have like a kitty sweater clip, I think. Oh how cute. How cute is that? Oh that's cute. Do we have a mark? I think so. Let's see who made it. Avon. Neat. So another Avon. I'm not knocking Avon, man. They're, they make nice jewelry. And they'll go in the designer bag, too. And maybe I'll do an Avon. I don't know. That's a cute. Here's a white one. Oh no. I thought it was coming out easily, but it will. We'll unhook. We will unhook and hook it back up. Is it all there? Yeah. It's all there. So we've got Avon. <laughs> Avon gold chain really nice nice gold chain and then we have is that another Avon I'll have to get the loop that one's not popping out to me yeah it's an Avon and it's got some stones in it black stones gold tone here it says Avon up here so nice very nice uh, Avon Avon Maybe I'll do a little Avon lot. Untangle this one and get that one in there. You know, 18 shift or something. Ooh, hold on. I wasn't having a thought when I was looking at this. So these might be little pearls for Henrietta. We got some Starling chain here. All wadded up, don't we? Let's see if this is Italy. China. IPS or something. Okay. As it untangles into a beautiful little copper pearl necklace I think it's pearls I'm gonna see if they're gritty
I just want to see this thing undone. So we're going to do it. Voila. Cleaning that's going to be like a Q-tip or something because we can't just be dipping that in there. Yep, gritty. There they are. It's pretty. We'll have to get that one untangled there. I like it happy with it small simple pretty pearls nothing wrong with a sterling and pearl necklace and uh, copper colored okay I want to see what this stone is right here let me get well, there's your the biggest earring you've ever seen. Look at that. Are you serious? You can make like a... I don't know what you can make out of that. Here's some small stones. It's a little bracelet. It's got a lot of little lines on this but it's not marked it's been around the block shell and little stones I'll put that in the boho bag love this color it's a green tealish color but we may be broken just need to get that on huh okay it's like that and it looks like it got a break oh no there it is but we don't have anything on this end I think it came off so it would be uneven I don't know somebody would be able to fix that but not me I have patience for that paparazzi paparazzi earrings okay what is this what all does this have in here? Okay. This is a huge, it's really pretty, blue. Lots of beautiful blue glass beads, and this would be the part that goes around your neck. And it's not dirty. You know, that's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Interact Club. No gold. And um, light blue. Like all those ought to go in a lot because whoever likes that style would like one in every color. Don't you agree? No, you're making a worse mess. Okay, all right, now. 
Here comes this mess. This is all falling apart. Peace. There's that little hand thing. Cute color. It looks like we the paparazzi's getting all tangled up. Lady Gaga song keeps going around in my mind that has corrosion on it I don't think this thing is marked Must be a necklace. Okay, let me see. Let's just look at what's coming out of here. It's that hand people have told me about, and um, it's spiritual. It has a little maker's mark, maybe. It doesn't say anything. And I'm trying to get it off of this thing here. But it doesn't want to cooperate exactly. And it's double stranded. I think it's going to it's a nice piece. Just a simple little brass toned spiritual Hindu or I forget. Somebody will know. to give up on that for now. I'll do it later. This is like a druzy or something in here. Boy, this is a big wad. I don't know. We might have to... That's pretty, though. Sure do want to get that out of there. See what kind of chain that's on. Yeah, this one. Oh my gosh, I've had these before. I gave up on one of these one time. I'm not seeing any like precious metal stuff, but I wanted this druzy out of there. It's man-made. It's not even cold. So we'll... Somewhere, I don't know. What is this? Paparazzi thing. Yeah, we got in a mess. We are making a big mess. Big mess. 
Okay, got that out. Because that's going to go in the designer bag. Is there supposed to be something in there? Yeah. Probably a blue. We'll put it to the side and maybe it's down in there. I don't know. I want gold. Billy Bob says, whoops, it's not a matter of if, it is just a matter of when. Faith and dream. Bunch of these leather like things. That's going to be an interesting piece there, possibly. Okay. Paparazzi's going into the designer bag. Wrap around bracelets. More paparazzi. And that was like a gold toned here. This chain is telling me it's probably not. Mm, no. When you see that, it's usually not going to be. But it could still be pretty. Not yet, Billy Bobs. Hopefully we have a gold in here. But we're still having fun. And this is a pretty heart. Let me just double check. We're going to have to wind this one down. And leave it for tomorrow. No more. And I do think that's plastic. It's gonna go on the gold tone for now. This one I said was interesting because it's cold. It is a stone. I don't know what kind. It's on a nice chain, silver tone. It's a heavy stone. I mean, it's just a big stone. Don't know what it is. It was drilled. That's nice. Put that back here with the stones. Nice faux pearl, heavy. Good condition. No mark. Little charm bracelet, tree of life, little heart, I believe. No maker's mark that I can see. I'm gonna reach back in here. Hmm. 
Kids ring. Let's get this red thing out of there. And it's got some earrings. That'll probably go in the little junk bag. This is going to be faux, fake. Trying to get this off of here, but I can't find the end of this. Stretchy, stretch ring. Okay. Is this a thin? Oh, it's not going to be. So that's what this thing is attached to. Think we can get it out? I think so. Big old piece necklace. Um, I call that boho too. All right, I guess we're gonna have to get some of this stuff back in the bag. like some stone or glass and what was the one I was looking at I don't know I don't know now this thin little one I don't know I don't think this is gonna be gold thought I saw the clasp and it didn't look like it would be They pick all the good big pieces out, you know, they, they've they got sterling for sale and gold for sale and, but these bags have still had something of some value. So I've been happy with them. Okay, there it is. It is a Luna Norte necklace. It's pretty. I have to look that up. It's very delicate and pretty. Got several single earrings. This popped out. So lots of these little leathery. This is the one I still can't free up.
and here's some more. Here's another leathery one. Oh, it came out. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Well, we're all doing that. We're all living life. All living life. These two go together. Little pair there. Kind of Christmassy. Here's a bracelet. No mark. Be yourself. Bracelets. This is a pretty one. It's brass or bronze. Vintagey. I was curious about this one. I think it's a religious, faux religious thing. But it's Ave Maria. It's kind of pretty. Well, we're just hanging out. This is might come out and it might not. Probably going to be another bead put into the bead lot. I don't like these things, whatever that is. But I don't think we can get this out. Okay. Here's a vintage Billy nickel silver it's not silver look at that somebody just that's cool and this is not working wait wait yes it will all right Billy Billy Bob you got you a vintage nickel silver charm I mean uh, what do you call them ID bracelet yeah, I remember those. Don't y'all remember those? This is a rubbery thing here. It's just going to go. I don't know. Okay, this came off. That's going to go in that. They can make what they want. Craft pile. There's a fishing lure thing. This is pretty, though. I don't know why the fishing lure thing is on there. It's pretty. Pretty nice. And then this one came out okay. It's got some pretty unique beads on there or something. It's pretty. It's not that messed up, I don't think. There we go. It's twisting up a little bit. I think that's going to go in the boho bag. Okay. Paparazzi. Let's see what this was. They must have had these attached to something for selling. They're cold and they're pretty. Somebody made these. I believe it's black glass. Very nice. December 20th, 1979. Let's find our day here. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On a two-shelf rack on my kitchen wall is a collection of tiny teacups. There is one from each tea set my daughter received during her childhood Christmases. The smallest one is unbreakable of painted metal. It was the first. 
The second Christmas and the third are also represented by metal cups successively larger. Number four is a red plastic followed next by a delicate pink plastic. By the sixth Christmas, she understood being careful of breakage and the first china cup appears small and heavy. By the next year, the cup was slimmer, thinner, and more delicate. The last one is a beauty. It is hand painted, almost transparent, the top of the line quality. The evidence of her growth and development is reflected in those cups, from days of clumsy grabbing at the metal ones to an ease of handling the most fragile. I hope that as my Heavenly Father surveys the collection of days I haul for him throughout my life, he will be able to discern in me just as steady growth and development in his will. Father, we do wish to grow steadily and we pray for your help to do so. All right, um, thanks for joining us and we'll probably get to this tangled mess later. Um, we'll just try to throw some, pull some stuff out and then if, I'm not gonna let y'all miss anything. Wait a minute. Might have a nice little ending here. Although our devotional was a nice ending. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure what the mark is going to say. 925. Probably not the chain. No, this chain is not. But that's cute. Some kind of Savarsky crystal, maybe. We'll put that over there. And this kind of pulled out with it. to get that unwrapped. Scarface. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny, but dreamer. See y'all next time.